objectification is one of the main topics that we're going to speak about today. And you had an experience as a young actress that really changed and developed your mindset in that area, didn't you? Tabloid newspaper ran an article where the headline said, Nell Hudson revealed major side boob at Victoria premiere. And there was a picture. <gasps> and it was my first, it was actually my very first experience of that sort of like, what's it called? The sort of red carpet stand. And um, yeah, so they ran this photo in this headline. And then they also ran a audience reader poll at the end of the article saying, have your say, what do you think? Was her dress too revealing? And then people could click and vote as to whether they thought my dress was too revealing. The implicit misogyny that ran through that article was very, very clear. There was no explicit sort of, she shouldn't have worn this, but it was so obviously implied because mm. are you familiar with the Madonna whore complex, those mm. terms where women have to either be Madonna and their mother figures and innocent and caring nurturers or their whores and their sex, sex objects. Mm. And we have to fall into those two camps. And this article very much did that. They compared me and what I was wearing with the lead actress in that show and what she was wearing. And literally use the words of something like, meanwhile, this actress wore something more tasteful and elegant <gasps> and more appropriate for the occasion. So it was also just pitting women against each other into these two camps. And it was just really horrible. 